Here are eight new Tickfinity features that will help you get more viewers. If your Tickfinity is ever broken, you might find that the last one will fix this for you. Starting with the Key Stroke Simulator. The Key Simulator itself is not a new update, but it's had a major upgrade on Tickfinity, which makes it compatible with even more games. So how do we get to it to start with? Create yourself a new action, give your action a name, and then use the Simulate Keystrokes option. Also worth noting, you need the Tickfinity desktop app for this. We'll talk more about that app at the end. Anyway, just hit Select Keystroke, and the key difference in this update is this checkbox towards the bottom and this key hold duration as well. So to make Tickfinity compatible with more video games, you just have to check this box. You'll be prompted to install this plugin. You'll be sent to the download website where you'll download the zip. Once you've got the zip, just right click extract all or I'm just going to extract it into its own folder. Then all you have to do is double click the exe file. Then we'll just quickly run through the installer, just accept all of the defaults. It doesn't take long to install. I'm gonna uncheck the release notes and press finish. So now that it's installed, let's set up a quick example. For me, I'm gonna press my W key in my Minecraft game for two seconds. So I've just gone ahead and named the action W key two seconds. I'm gonna keep it super simple. You obviously might wanna show alert or execute a Minecraft command, but just for these purposes, I'm just simulating a keystroke, select keystroke. Obviously, I'm just gonna type W into the box. Then I've got the compatibility mode checked and key hold duration, I want 2000 milliseconds. So 1000 milliseconds is one second. So obviously now I will just press save, change any other settings that you want, save again. And let's assign mine so when I get a rose, then it will trigger the action for two seconds. So I'll just assign it here, press save, and now we can test it. So after you press this play button, you've now got five seconds to go into the game. I've got no hands on the keyboard. And as you can see, we moved for about two seconds. All right, moving on. Imagine you're playing Fortnite and Tickfinity tries to trigger a Minecraft creeper to spawn. Now to state the obvious, you don't want that. So what Tickfinity has done is for pro users, if you look in the top left, we now have five stream profiles. So for my example, on stream profile five, I have some Minecraft alerts, but on stream profile two, I've got my experimental alerts, which you just saw. So if you're a pro user, take advantage of that. Otherwise you have to go through everything like I'm doing here and just disable the events that you don't want. Much easier just to switch stream profile. Now, speaking of Tickfinity Pro, they've actually added a new way to get Tickfinity Pro, and that is via Patreon. So if you find yourself unable to use PayPal or the other payment methods, then subscribe through their Patreon and just click the connect button at the bottom of the page. You'll automatically get a Discord role and then that will unlock the rest of Tickfinity Pro. Don't forget if you're a new Tickfinity user, you can use my discount code for $4 off. That's in the description. Next up is a fantastic new import and export feature. This means you can send all of your Tickfinity settings to somebody else with a few clicks. So in this example, let's send these nice Minecraft alerts to a different person. So I just head to the setup page, click on import and export. And first I'm obviously gonna export. I can choose what I want here. For me, I'm just gonna export the actions and events. Just click download file and give the file a name. Then obviously just send this file to your friend. I'm gonna pretend that stream profile two is my new friend. And I'm once again gonna click on import export. This time import settings from file, select file. And here it is, just double click it, then check the actions, check the event, whatever else you wanna import, start the import. And it will only take a few seconds. It will reload Tickfinity. It's been successfully applied. So let's double check. Just like that, I've now got somebody else's Minecraft alerts on my Tickfinity. If you'd like to join over 1,000 people getting free weekly advice to monetize and grow their live streams, then sign up to my live success newsletter. It's linked in the description. Every single week, I'm sending things like news, case studies, tools to over 1,000 people. So next, it's now possible to display your top gifters using Tickfinity. So just head to the overlay gallery, click on top gifters on the left, click customize to change the look of it. You can click test to see what it looks like, and then just hit copy URL. Now inside OBS, add a browser source, inside Live Studio, add source, link, click on add, and then control V to paste it in. Give it a custom resolution. 
If you're in landscape mode and you want it full screen, set it to 1080. I'll set the width to around 600. I'll click on add source and then you can just click on it on the left to see where it appears. As you can see in my portrait one, it's clearly not added it as the correct size. So you can just increase or decrease the size. And if you actually want to see what it looks like, just spam click test a few times. You can see it now appears and then it disappears. It just shows the top four. But when you're actually live, it will fill up the list to the bottom of this. So if you want to crop it up or down, hold the Alt key, drag it up or down like that. If you want more details about the top gifter list, I'll put my standalone guide in the description. Now we talked about Minecraft earlier on. So let's go back to Minecraft and look at a nice little tweak that Tickfinity has made. If I click create new action, in this example, I'm just going to type summon three monsters and you'll see why in a second. So I'm going to scroll down, execute Minecraft command. And instead of typing here, I haven't got my Minecraft server set up, so it did give me that error. But instead of typing here, I'm going to click expand editor and you can now type multiple commands per action. So here's a random example. I've summoned a sheep, a parrot and a fox, but obviously you can type in any Minecraft command. Another nice little thing, if we want a delay in between each one spawning, we just type delay, add a space, and then a number of milliseconds. So that would be a 1000 millisecond, one second delay between the sheep and the parrot spawning. And then once you're happy with all your commands, obviously just apply, make any other changes to the action you want, assign it to an event such as a gift. And then you can now have multiple commands for one Minecraft event. Of course, we could go way deeper with Minecraft and Tickfinity. I'll put my Tickfinity Minecraft guide in the description. Next up, here is a super quick one. So head to the setup page and click on advanced settings. It will take you to the bottom of the page. And you can see this last checkbox says use display names of users in overlays instead of the at handles. So what does that mean if we use my profile as an example? If we have the at handle, it would say WG underscore Mojo has followed. If we have my display name, it would say WG space Mojo has followed and often the display name just looks better. Next up, I've been using it the whole time. I am using the Tickfinity desktop app. This is both more stable than the website and it has more features. So for example, subscriber alerts will always work. This keystroke simulator we spoke about earlier on only works on the desktop app. So for maximum stability for the fewest bugs, I always suggest you download this desktop app. I'll link it for you in the description. You should also find it on the start page if you're on the website underneath the latest and greatest section. And finally, I think most phone streamers are not making good use of technology and Tickfinity. So if you want to set yourself up an interactive phone stream, watch this video and it will help you stand out from every other phone streamer and live battler.